Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I'm going to show how I create this class. So basically, uh, I was purchased this kind of the class from the local store, and then I think it's uh, quite interesting if we can model it in Fusion. Okay. So this is is also uh, intended to the very beginner. You guys, if you want to know how to model the unique shape in Fusion, okay, let's get started. Okay, so click a new design. I will use a top view of the sketch here, and then create a circle with a 60 millimeter of diameter. And then I will finish the sketch, and I just do the simple extrusion, uh, 100 millimeter, and then I will give the draft angle uh, 5 degree of the draft angle okay and then I will create a sketch in the top of the view and then I added a 20 millimeter circle and then this circle is not yet aligned so I will align with the vertical uh, is this have the same uh, vertically have the same position of the center point and then I will use the offset command here minus 2 so minus 2 is a thickness of the glass and then I will use the tangent here to this here, here okay and then I will go finish sketch and then I will do the same at the bottom part and then this one the edge here I offset minus 2 is the same okay and I will finish the sketch okay so I will add the rail which is to guide the loft command here so I will use the create a new sketch which is at the left uh, plane here and then to clearly see the sketch so you can activate the slice command here and then I will use the project to construction line so this guy here and then this uh, circle here so they will project it to the uh, particular location here and then I will use the uh, ordinary line here connect with the bottom part here and then I will use the fit spline curve here and here okay so one tips for me if you guys want to use the spline you have to keep the number of point as less as you can okay so after that i will use the vertical to align this vertically the handle curve okay so as you can see this is the the spline and i will also have a give the angle to this uh, bottom handle here with the 30 degrees okay okay after that I will give the dimension here 25 okay and then I will make it this one and this one is the same length okay so as you can see this is the curve here which is to be the guidance of our uh, loft okay so after that I will just simply using the love command from this surface here to the surface here as a profile and then for the rail I will use this oh no, wait, let me, this one is already selected okay. so let me redo again so from the bottom here to the top profile okay as you can see the uh, red color here is the uh, loft but I want to edit a rail from this guy here the rail 1 and then also the rail 2 okay as you can see they will follow the rail and then the operation is cut okay as you can see here is already form of the loft and then I will use the shell command with the 2 millimeter thickness okay here like this okay and then I will use the another sketch here from here okay can you can slice it up 
so you can see the profile here and then I will project the top very outer edges edge here and then also the intersect why I choose intersect is because the sketch will intersect the plane which is the sketch my sketch lies on okay so I can click OK so they will have a line over there and then I will add an arc from this here and then here and then I will use the position over there okay as you can see it's not yet tangent so I need to put a tangent concert between those two and then as you can see also it's not aligned perfectly aligned so I will use the horizontal alignment here with here and then also I'll just give the dimension here 10 millimeter okay finish sketch and then I use the extrude to the symmetric and then they will extrude all okay so the basic shape is done I just give the ordinary uh, the, the, the additional fillet here okay 2 millimeter okay I will use the fillet from the bottom here one millimeter okay and then I will use this fillet over here here and here also using um, one millimeter okay and then the last one I will use the fillet over here use the one millimeter as a fillet but there's an error so you just uh, simply edit the tangency okay to perfectly uh, created the fillet okay yeah it's done the glass is already done it's the same with the uh, the shape which is we want to integrate to model okay okay please like my video if you like, have any question about the this modeling or this tutorial please uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment in my channel okay thank you bye bye